Hi, we're John and Angie. We love to eat, we love to travel, and oh, did I mention, we're dealing with infertility too. Come join us on our journey through this thing we call life. Is the updated setup. We still have a lot to do. John's over there working on the rocks. But it's really coming together. It's looking good. So it's day four of stims. I'm feeling pretty good. Got a slight headache this morning, but that went away after I drank some water. Um, feeling a little tired, but that could be lack of coffee. Oh, is that how you drink water? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was cute. You drink more like it. Whatever. Um, head slight headache, lack of caffeine, or no, I don't think. I lost my train of thought. I'm tired, basically. I think that's from my caffeine, though. Um, what else? I'm feeling a little moody. Not like cranky, but like sad a little bit. Stressed, maybe. I don't know. I figure these hormones are kind of messing with my emotions a little bit. But besides that, everything's good. It's still a hundred times better than Clomid. I mean, besides the fact that I have to get poked every day, which isn't too bad. Um, like the side effects are not bad at all. Clomid used to make me feel really, really weird. Mm -hmm. So, 10 out of 10, would do again so far. Um, what else? We have uh, our builder coming to do some warranty repairs or at least look at them. Um, and tell us what is warrantable and what is not. Everything they screw up on is warrantable. Exactly. So, I don't think we're going to have a problem with that. Uh, and, I think that's about all. We're just really excited about our backyard coming together. Can't wait until we get our pergola. Excited about our trip. Just excited about life in general right now. So, yeah. Just wanted to check in. Let you guys know about how I'm feeling, but I'm very excited. Next week is retrieval week. So, oh, and the Menapure, I don't think the Menapure did much. I mean, I did feel a little weird this morning, like tired and like, you know, a little tiny bit lightheaded, but um, yeah, I don't think the Menapure is that bad. Gonolef, Menapure, Citratide, all of them have been pretty good. So, yeah. All right, check in later. You a pro now? Oh yeah, I'm good. At, I'm like really good at this now. I can be a doctor, or at least a nurse. Nurse Jonathan's. Ooh, you should wear a sexy nurse outfit. Nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Oh wait, you want to be a naughty nurse? <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't even remember that one until just now. That was a good one. Yeah. Remember when I dressed up like a naughty nurse for you? <laughs> Retarded, dude. Oh, wait, that wasn't me. Whatever, bro. <sighs> All right, so. Um, we have 225. Donald, I have 225. So this is, you get extra syringes. They look like this. Then, this is my Gondol, the Gondol F we already mixed the other day. It's like that. I already wiped it down. I already wiped the top down with the, uh, um, Alcohol. Alcohol swab. So I'm going to wipe Angie's tummy now. Before with you the... wipe my tummy, though, mm -hmm. maybe you should see if there's enough in there. Ah, good idea. Well, actually, you can wipe my tummy because then it'll dry for sure by the... Maybe you want on this side, maybe? I think right here. Right here? Okay, sweetie. Right. I think we'll go back to the side because the side's bruised. A bruise. So we'll start back on this side and then maybe we'll go back to that side. Alright. Yeah, you're a pro. You are a pro. Okay, so the gondola, this is the one I gotta like go up a little bit. So there's an arrow, I think. No, no. that's the Metapure. Metapure, that's right, that's right. Right there. Yeah, two. 
Punch, okay. You just gonna have a punch? No pin, no little <laughs> oh. pinch. Give me a little pinch, just a little pinch. And then it's going go right in. Sorry, baby. You pinched me. I thought you said a little punch. I was like, geez. A little pinch. No, I never punched you, honey. A little pinch. Yeah, that's going to the shelter container. I'll get this in here. So I didn't, at least it's not bleeding. Yeah, I know. What's up, Sarah? I'm sorry, sweetie. Just a little bit of my pillow right there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Looks like it was sticky. Yeah, thanks, Sydney. Of course, baby. This is my current stomach bruise here. Pokes all through here. This side did the best. Yeah. You can see like a couple pokes, but not like pretty bad. So. It's weird because I don't know. It seems like the needles aren't that sharp because when I poke you, it like pushes your skin in. Maybe I just got a lot of blue. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, so we, got we got a little bit left in this one. Tomorrow is 150 okay. and 75 men appear. I'll probably have to mix another one tomorrow. So, day one, two, three, four day of four. stems. Um, I was telling John a few minutes ago that I have a little pressure in my left ovary. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's working. I'm mm -hmm. excited. Tomorrow yeah. I have an appointment. So, we get to go to my appointment. Well, I get to go. John can't go. Yeah. Um, not because he doesn't want to, but because he, they literally won't let him in there. Yeah. Um, because of COVID. Yeah. So I have my appointment tomorrow. We'll get to see how I am reacting to the stim, the stims, the stim medication. Thanks, honey. I love you. Of course, I love you. We're excited. Yeah, can we? All right, it's me again, and I'm rushing again, heading to... The RE two get my um man I can't even think no caffeine okay heading to the RE to check out how my stim medications are doing if I am um, responding like I should be so I'm very very excited about that it's just been a busy busy freaking week um the backyard done had the builder come by to look at warranty repairs um, have some stuff with our cookie business that I had to deal with it's not currently in business but um, I had to do some paperwork for that it's just a lot a lot a lot but it's okay, just checking one thing off the list at a time. And tomorrow we go to the optometrist in the morning. I'm gonna have a house cleaner potentially come look at the house tomorrow so they can give us a price because I just have too much to do. And John has too much to do. And normally I do a lot of the cleaning, but right now I can't because I can't be dealing with a lot of chemicals because of the retrieval process so I just need a little bit of help I'm not sure how we're gonna factor that expense in but uh, it's necessary and I will figure it out so yeah <clears throat> besides that everything else is good just trying to go day by day and just really focus on what uh, needs to be done and that's all I can do right now. But I am very excited about today's appointment because I'm hoping that we get really good news that our um, 
responding well. We don't, that's a whole other situation that I just hope we don't have to deal with. I don't know. I'm trying to stay positive, but again, when things don't go your way, quite often in the world of infertility, it's hard to keep that positive attitude all the time. Well, they finally fixed the road over here. So yeah, just rushing, rushing, rushing. I think I'll be fine. Uh, as far as medication, like injections are going, it's going well. John's doing an amazing job. I am so happy that he is helping me with that because I think if I had to do it myself, it would be a lot worse. Um, there's just something about injecting yourself with a needle that just doesn't sound like a good time. I mean, I'm sure I could do it and figure it out if I needed to, but it's nice to have his support. And, um, I have a little bit of bruising and a little bit of, like, uh, redness here and there, but, um, overall, it's just really good. It's not as bad as I thought it would be at all. Um, it's a lot easier so far than, uh, IUI medications, like I mentioned before. I'm starting to get a little nervous about the retrieval again, though. No, I just don't like being put under. I think if I wasn't put under, I would feel a lot better. But then I probably wouldn't feel a lot better because it would hurt. So it's catch-22. Um, and I'm a little worried about the pain afterwards. Because I do have a pretty high pain tolerance, I'll say that. But who likes to be in pain? I sure don't. So let's just hope that I have a really good recovery, a really good retrieval, that everything just goes smoothly so I can just be done with this and move on to the next part, which is the transfer. That's the fun part. Um, I won't know the results of the transfer. If we do the transfer when I think we're going to do it, which again, that's could always change, but I won't know the results of the transfer until the day before we go on our little vacation to Yellowstone. So, that's either good or bad, depending on the results. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But again, we're just gonna try to stay positive. But I really want to enjoy this trip, so I really hope that the results are good. I wish we could have done the retrieval and transfer back in March so that we weren't so close to the wire and I wasn't giving the results the day before our trip. But this is life. This is the way things are. I'm just going to roll with it. I'm going to hope and pray for the best and just go with it, you know? It is what it is here on time with a little time to spare actually so that's good I gotta call them before I go up there um, but I am here and I am excited so let's hope for the best and I will let you know how it goes back again just waiting for the doctor may or may not have to get blood taken today so that's good we'll see. we are done and it was great news I have I am like right on schedule for where we should be at this time. So I think I had about 10 follicles that were about the same size. I had of course more, but um, they are trailing a little bit behind. And I think at this point they want to see about eight or more. Um, so it was perfect. Um, on schedule for re retrieval around Thursday or Friday. So that's good. That'll give me a nice two days to three days to recover um, before I have to go back to work. And yeah, everything is just good. So everything looks great. Um, doing well, they took my blood, they're checking my estrogen level. Uh, so we'll see. But I have an appointment on Monday to check my progress again. Um, but so far so good. So thumbs up, good job. Good job, buddy. I did it. So yeah. I'm very excited to finally be doing something right, <laughs> right? I mean, my body doesn't usually respond like it's supposed to, 
I was really worried because my body, I would always get like one follicle in Clomid when all these other people saying they get two or three, I'm over here with one. So the fact that my body is doing what it's supposed to do and is a little bit, a little bit ahead of the game is a good thing. So I'm very excited. You are a pro, 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 pro. Thank you. Now. I'm glad that my ovaries are working the way they're supposed to. Mm -hmm. Everything's doing, looking good. Nice. Because you know, don't be nervous. You're great at this. Thanks, babe. You do such a good job. Yeah. Good job, Judy Moody. Okay. So, so point today five? is point five. Yes. Tonight we do gonal and manipure. Oh, okay. Got it. Another two shot night. At least I get a burrito. A burrito. So we go to Chipotle or Qdoba and we get a bowl that's keto friendly, like no beans or rice. And then we bring our keto tortillas and we wrap it in there and it's like a really good treat. Mm -hmm. Super good. You're a real pro when I got a double treat. You're a real pro when I got a double treat. With my tennis. I've got lots of pokies. All for you, Bob. Mm -hmm. All for you. The bad little Bob. Bad Bob. There we go. The bowl's looking good. Alrighty, so. Right between. I'm gonna get her, get her in there. And then, okay. You're gonna feel a little pinch, okay? I'm sorry, baby. I don't know how to make it not hurt. I don't know if that's just more sensitive. <clears throat> or maybe my stomach's like, fuck you. You've been poking me too many times. Thanks, baby. And a kiss. Mm -hmm. Love you. Love you. Thanks, honey. Of course, baby. All right. We only got a couple more days of this, though, because we God. stop on Monday, I think. <clears throat> Thank God. Yep, Monday. So, tonight, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and then we're all done. Thank God. Thanks, honey bunny. You're the best. I love you. I need to cut date night short so we could make it home in time mm -hmm. to do our injections. We need two today, so I think maybe one, two, like right here, like that. and maybe one, two, like right here. So we'll go like that. There and there. No, here and there. Yeah. Two and two. So let me go. Two finger lengths. So right here. Mine's a little different. Two. So right there. One down, one to go. Okay, now I gotta prepare the Medipure. All right, now we gotta prepare the Medipure. All right, shot number two, Medipure. Go. Go, go. Now, we're going to go in this area in the middle. So, I'm just going to go in.
Was it, at least it was a quick stab instead of a slow stab. Sorry. Try. Try. Thank you. Of course, honey. I love you. I love you too. Day five, down. Two, three more days to go. Not too bad. We're more than halfway there.